Hello class, good evening. Good evening, Narciso. Good evening, Daniel. Person. Good evening, guys. Stephanie, Marlene, Nicole, and Linda. Can you guys listen to me? Yes, I listen. I listen to you. Okay, great. Thank you so much for confirming, Daniel. Okay, so it's eight, and we are going to start with our session today. Today we have, um, basically we are going to continue about yesterday's topic. I don't know if you have already checked what, what is for today, but it is important that we uh, review, you know, some things that we have already uh, covered. So I'm gonna start by checking the attendance, okay? So if you listen to your name, please say present, or you can say I am here, either or, it's okay. So let's see number one on the list, and this is Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Narciso. Good how? Evening. Good evening. How's everything, Narciso? Everything good. Nice teacher. to hear. Nice to hear that. Another easy day. Easy. Easy. <laughs> okay. Easy day. Easy day. Great. Very Great. Good. Very good, nice to hear that. And today is September 7. If you think about it, we are almost like, uh, if it is the seven, like the third part of the month. So it's like going really fast. Let's see, number two. Holiday, uh, holiday. holiday. It's coming. Holiday. Yeah, holiday is coming. Holiday. Yeah, next Saturday. week. Ah, uh, okay. Saturday. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I mean, next week, a week from tomorrow is going to be the Independence Day, right? Because it's September the 15th, I think. It's like, that's holiday. That's another, you know, holiday. That's cool. And, well, it's a pity that we're not going to see cheerleaders, <laughs> bands, marching, all these parades. But, yeah, uh, you know how pandemic is and is affecting us. So at the end, yeah. Okay, um, let's see, Christina. Christina, no. Oh, Christina says something on the chat. Daniel, Daniel Antonio Luna. I'm here from my home, finally. <laughs> oh, okay, that is great to hear and to see. I know uh, you've been working hard and now you are at home, which is cool. Now that's different. Now you deserve to have a rest, okay, to chill. As Narciso says, easy, take it easy, all right? You deserve it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Narciso's, you know, phrase. Easy. How was your day, Narciso? So easy, he says. I like it. <laughs> so, Elsie, how's everything, Elsie? Present teacher. Thank you so much, Miss. Next one, Gabriela Guadalupe. Gabi. No? Oh. She's there. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Harrison. Present teacher. Thank you, her son, uh, Jose Miguel. Jose, no, he's not here yet. Okay, Ruben. Ruben, no. Okay, um, JC. I'm here, teacher. Nice, you're there. Tomorrow, the select is playing, JC. Do you <laughs> think? The five, 5 p.m. <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> what time do, do you finish working? Um, uh, 4 p.m. So you can watch it. <laughs> so if, yes. it is, if it is at 5 and we start classes at 8, so that means that you know, we can enjoy all the match. <laughs> and hopefully they will. Uh -huh. I have time tomorrow and the Gay and the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think tomorrow they're going to play in Canada, right? They're not in the country. Yes, yes. What's, what's your score? I, uh, I would like Salvadorian 
win, but tomorrow is very difficult. Okay, <laughs> don't lose uh, your hope. Oh, oh. one zero, Salvador. <laughs> okay, <Tener> fe. <laughs> let's, ha le let's have faith, let's hope the best, let's expect the best. Yeah, I'm very positive about that too. Hopefully, you know, we're, we're going to win. We never know, you know. A chiripon can happen, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Thank you so much, AC, for your um, sharing and, and your score. Yeah, tomorrow we'll see what happened. Um, we'll talk tomorrow about it. Okay, so Linda. Hello, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Linda. Uh, Hello, Mar teacher. Hey, that's good. Uh, Linda is here. Maria Idalia. I'm here, teacher. Great to hear that. Let's see. Next one I have on the list, Maria Julia. No? Next one, uh, Marlene Nico. Present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, next one, Marvin Omar. Marvin, not connected yet. Norma, Carolina. So much, Norma. Rafa. Rafa. I'm here, I'm here. Where's Rafa? Oh, there he is. I can see, you can see you are turning yes, on your camera. Ready in your corner, Rafa, okay. Yes, already. <laughs> nice, nice to hear that. Okay, Judith. Hello, Judith. Ray. Xiomara. Judy Lisette. Okay. So, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Um, I would like to know um, how are you doing with your assignments? Have you had any problems? Because I know sometimes the, um, there are some maybe exercises that might give you this challenge or structures that we don't understand. I would like to know if you have questions because um, sometimes due to the characters or specific characters or uh, maybe punctuation is that it doesn't recognize your answers as correct. Have you had any problems uh, solving? I know Harrison did because Harrison reported one problem, but at the end he said that he solved it. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had problems with your assignments, uh, daily assignments. For me, no teacher. I right. don't, don't all the exercise mm -hmm. yesterday, hasta okay. ayer. Everything okay. All right. No, no issues. No problems. Great. And what about the rest? Thank you so much for sharing your experience, Daniel. And how about the other ones? Have you had problems by um, completing this uh, task or daily assignments? No? Are you okay with that? Any question, guy, that you might have? No questions about the assignments. Tomorrow is um, Wednesday and we are finishing unit number, um, what, three tomorrow. So that means that you have to complete your assignments by tomorrow, okay? Because we have to send grades uh, to the, you know, to our uh, coordinators, okay? So make sure to complete the assignments for tomorrow. I mean, do not leave them, you know, there, just go ahead and complete them, okay? And well, today we had a listening session for today. Um, I have a question because I know, I want to hear you. How did you feel this listening? Was it easier? Was it more difficult than the other ones? What was your experience, guys? What was your experience? Como fue su experiencia en los listening? Easier, más fácil, more complicated, más complicado. Or how was it in general? How was it? How did you do? How many did you get correct? Let's escucho. I listen. 
little complicated. Okay, any other? Any other? A little. I like to hear that. I like that uh, a little. A little. I like that. What else? Mm -hmm. What other comments? You see, if you have to give me one number from one to 10, uh, being 10 the most difficult and one the, what, the least, uh, difficult, um, how would you say it from one to 10? Difficult, not difficult to understand? For listening in today or uh -huh. in to general? Today, today listening. They are nine of 10. So you, so that was really difficult. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh. No, no. Oh, oh, it's the opposite. Oh, the difficult. Like the. Oh, uh, yes. So yes. if it is nine or ten, it's mean that means that it was really difficult, right? Oh, uh, no, not difficult. Not difficult. It's okay. a positive. So no. it's, it's, it's the opposite. Okay, I see. Okay, and uh, why am I asking you this? I'm asking you this, guys, because um, this listen, and if you saw the. Um, I don't know, the link, it says what? Intermediate. No sé si se dijeron que decía que ese listen es, es intermedio. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien notó eso? Cuando abrieron el link, les aparecía intermediate listen. En realidad, el nivel de inglés que están utilizando es intermediate. It's, that's why I was asking. Pero les estaba preguntando cómo lo sintieron. Porque honestly, that was really good. I like it, but... This, uh, this one is classified, y se lo, y está en este, en ese tema, porque it's, if it's, se adapta a lo que estamos haciendo, but it is the speed, la velocidad, and all that is faster, okay, that is why it's considered intermediate, y las estructuras que se utilizan también son intermediate, algunas de ellas, Por eso les preguntaba cómo habían sentido ustedes, si lo sintió little, little difficult o easy. Oh, that's really good. Eh, a ver, cuéntame, ¿cuántos se sacaron? Out of five, how many did you get correct? ¿Cuántas correctas? Mm -hmm. Four. Four, that's good. Four out of five. Four out of five, okay. Nice, Elsie, you got four. That's great. What about the other ones? ¿Cuántas sacaron los demás? How many did you get correct? Five, says Idalia. Awesome. I like it. So five out of five. Nice. And Norma, four out of five. KJC, same number. Uh, Narciso, our soccer, um, uh, what? <laughs> Our soccer um, player. Uh, so Narciso, three out of five. Good. What else? Who else? We only we got one, two, three, four, five people. Okay. If you can share, guys, to have this, you know, um, to have a better picture, I would appreciate to see who's working on this. Let's see. Okay. Only five. One, two, three, four, five people. Uh, and then this is what I want to do today. I want you to please on the chat, send me uh, one or two words that you learned that you didn't know from this uh, listening, okay? Take one minute and start typing your uh, phrases, okay? So send me your phrases on the chat or maybe one word you didn't know and you learned it. Una frase que usted no sabía y la aprendió. A ver, compártanla, please. Shirt. La verdad que es un listening bien interesante. Hay un montón de cositas bien bonitas. Talking about issue. Okay. What is issue, Rafa? Mm, 
no lo investigué, teacher. Ok, now you have the, the, the assignment. Ahora lo voy a investigar, ahora sí. <laughs> ok, we have find out. Good, I like it. Find out. Descubrir, or it can be Linda Averiguar. Find out. Mm -hmm. Sponsorship, what is it? Content-based classes. Hey, I like that topic, Daniel. Content-based classes. I like that. Mm -hmm. So tell us, Marlene, what is uh, what is sponsorship? Would you like to be my sponsor, Marlene? Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. I want to study a master degree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, tuition. Uh, for me, for me, teacher sponsorship is a uh, it's a people or company who who help with money mm -hmm. to the other people. Exactly. Who pays? Who, who, yes. who is financially responsible? Right. Yes. I know. I know. Yes. For something. Okay, good. Liter okay. Liter literacy. Okay, Norma, what is that? Deadlines. I like that one. Deadlines. Tiene, son frases bien, bien, vocabulario bien útil. Deadlines. O sea, que trabajamos. Deadlines is a really good deadlines are the dates, right? From here to here. Do not exit. That's the deadline. Creo que Narciso mandó la misma. Literacy, okay. Here, what is what 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 is the I'll say what is the traduction with content based class like the LMB? Okay, that is a I let me no, 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 I, no. Uh -huh. okay content based no, then it, <laughs> content based is um I would say it's a methodology for teaching. Let me explain okay. what I let me explain what I mean. Like, and now I am teaching you how to speak English based on INSA for handouts, right? This is, uh, we are learning how to speak the language. I am teaching you structures, grammar, eso es la metodología. Pero cuando hablamos de content, okay. content class, yo vendría, no vendría a enseñarles uh, gramática para el idioma, traería, traería contenido. Por ejemplo, vaya, vamos a aprender matemática, ¿ok? Y le vengo a enseñar contenido en in in, in English, ¿ok? That's content. So content basically means um, I'm going to teach something, a topic. It can be based on a, on a subject. For example, it can be social studies, science, uh, what else? Um, languages, but uh, literature. It's just content-based. If you want to study economy, uh, politics, this is content. I'm teaching you content classes. Classes enfocadas en ya en contenido. To have um, what a, a specialization, to have um, a degree. So that's content classes. It's content. Okay. Uh -huh, that's, <laughs> that would be like, um, yeah. There are skill-based classes as well. When you learn skills, but then, then that's basically, it's a methodology. That's the way they teach at the university, okay? Um, so let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, we have leader, literacy, leave the, I like that one, leave the nest. Leave the nest, like uh, whenever you live with your parents and you are grown up already, ya estamos viejitos and you don't wanna leave your nest. You know, you have to move move from your home. Guys, no sé si me escuchan porque se me han quedado frisado. Lo veo todo. <laughs> o quizás yo estoy frisado para ustedes. Hello? Ok. Ok. All right. Um, yeah, no problem then. Thank you so much. I'm going to have my camera off a little bit. Um, hesitate. Hesitate, I like it. Uh, hesitate, Narciso, it's a great uh, uh, word. Hesitate, I love using this. What is hesitate?
I don't know, teacher. You don't know. Okay, don't that, know, that's your home. <laughs> Narciso, don't hesitate to ask questions. Yo uso bastante esa palabra. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Yo les digo esto seguido, no están escuchado. Don't hesitate. No. Es como tenga, tenga pena de preguntar algo así. Uh -huh. Uh, what, do you, what do you say hesitar? <laughs> it's like doubt, dudar, don't Fair. hesitate, uh -huh. don't hesitate, uh -huh. no, no dude, no vacile en preguntar, don't, you know, don't be afraid, don't hesitate. Uh -huh. What else, guys? Uh, what else? There are more things. And este, este vocabulario, la verdad, is really interesting. A ver, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say la matrícula? O, o el pago mensual de una universidad, la matrícula, ya aparecen esas palabras. Do you know? What is it? Y se me queda otra vez frozen. <laughs> ok, what is that? How do you say uh, matrícula? How do you say pago mensual de university? Allá aparecen esos. How do you say that? A ver quién lo encontró. O quién le dio curiosidad. What is, what is the tuition for a full time? Ok. No. Ahí aparece tuition. Ok. Tuition. Yes, the tuition. You got it, Marlene. The tuition. No sé si me escucha porque tuition es la matrícula. Es the registration fee. Cuando esté matricularse es register, entonces registration fee también se conoce como tuition, el tuition, ok, muy bien. Ok, any other one that you want to share, guys, any other? Otra frase. I like, I like for uh, rain or shine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like it. I like that one. Rain or shine, you know, it doesn't matter, okay? I like that expression. Yes. Okay, what is rain or shine? You are welcome. Esa sería como la mejor traducción. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. no, no dije sin querer queriendo. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Rain, o sea, asum, a, no asumí rain, lluvia. Uh -huh. Shine, viene siendo como un uh -huh. luz, rayo, algo uh -huh. así. Por ahí uh -huh. más sí. <ríe> But in Spanish, así decimos que. Aunque. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Llueva. Re repeat, o... repeat es, es, es como, como llueve o relampague. Lo ajá, decimos aquí. Trueme, ajá. Llueve ajá. o relampague. Relampague. <ríe> Rain or shine. Rain or shine. Exacto. Exact. Rain or shine. Uh -huh. Exactly. Ok. Good. Great to hear that. Any other, any other guys that you want to um, share? La verdad que muy buen vocabulario. Eh, yo diría de regreso a escucharlo y hacerlo un par de veces y poner incluso el, el script, como le hemos dicho, y, y seguirlo, tratarlo de seguir sabiendo de que ese es un listening que trae más reto. Ok, so do it. I encourage you to do it. Les animo a que lo hagan. Ok, ok, so let's move on. Now, today, guys, we have... Um, I mean, the topic is, is the same, it's connected because we are going to continue to talk about past experiences. Basically, we are going to talk about simple past. That's what, we, what we've been talking, you know, this is what we have been talking lately. Now, uh, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we talk about yesterday, on yesterday's class? Who remembers? Who remember? Ah, guys, I'm sorry. I have something else to tell you. Uh, did you open the other link? Did you open the other link? Um, no. Yes, no. Yes. Me, yo sí. Yes. Okay. Me, me, yes. <laughs> well, 
es ahí. Hay don en la cosa, sería. Eh, Exactamente, a eso le iba a decir, Daniel. Ahí es donde necesitamos el sí. uso de, de los auxiliares. I did, se dice. Pero yo sí, I did. I did. I did, I did okay. porque es pasado. I did. I see. Yo sí, I did. Ok. It's a, it's a script about, uh, about the customer service. Exactly. Exactly. And how, how, how to, how to, to satisfy them. To a customer, ¿cómo satisfacer a un, a un cliente? How to have a customer satisfied. Ah, ok, ok, and ok. I like it. What else did you see, Daniel? Those are, what do we, how do we call them? We call them, what, did, what was the topic of this link? What was the topic? Topic is, is, is uh, uh, how to say the, the Yes, topics to the customer service employee mm -hmm. to okay. satisfy a, a, a client. What is, I, what is say... marks? Okay. What, what is marks? Uh -huh. so... let, let, me, let me explain that, okay? What Daniel is saying is correct because the purpose of these, uh, these are call flows like more calls, more calls from call centers and call flows. A mock is like, um, let's see, is, I would say a mock is a call, but it's not a real call, it's fake. Let's see, it's like pretend something to be similar to a real scenario. For example, if Marlene is going to assist customers uh, selling uh, what? maybe cars, then Marlene will be role-playing similar calls, like as if you are assisting real customers. It's, that is a more call, more calls, okay? That is like, like the try, like, that would be like um, role-plays, but not real role-plays, similar scenarios, okay? And um, when we say call flows, it means lo flujo de llamada, el script de una llamada similar de cómo, cómo sería una llamada cómo sería una llamada ya en el ámbito digamos laboral o cómo, cómo o qué debería de contener esa llamada por eso un call flow, es un, es una mock call se parecen bastante a las llamadas reales es la imagen así decirlo es la imagen, por eso que Daniel hablaba de how to have a customer satisfied porque ahí involucra having Having what? All these phrases, vocabulary, how to handle a call, cómo manejar la llamada. Y yo, yo quiero pedirles que ustedes tomen un, un tiempo, si es posible, si es posible, descarguen esos scripts que aparecen. Porque a lejos de que quizás alguno pues lo vaya a utilizar como un assistant customer, trae un montón de vocabulario. That is good for you to practice. Así que, uh, let's do that. Ahí hay un call flow. Y se parece mucho a los roleplay que ustedes hacen, que comenzamos, hey, thank you for calling JC's company, this is Armando, bla, bla, bla. Ahí está compartiendo y María y dale. Ahí está. Ahí está. Mocal scripts samples. Son, son muestras de llamadas. Son escenarios, like real scenarios. Ahí está. Um, yo, I downloaded this already because <laughs> I like it. Um, yo no sé si les conté que trabajé un rato en Cosen, un ratito. And then uh, I like this, this field, and, but it's kind of like uh, stressing, but it's good to help others, ayudar a los clientes. Entonces, what Idali is sharing is basically, uh, you know, ideas. Así que, guys, if you have an access to that, to that um, thank you so much, Idali. If you have an access to that information, do it, please, do it. Le va a ayudar un montón. Um, so thank you for, uh, to those who already did it. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's see. Mm -hmm. What else? ¿Alguien más quisiera compartir? Uh, de los... uh, in that link, we, uh, I found... Um, two examples uh, or script about uh, 
a calls in a call center maybe mm -hmm. um to order a pizza and the other it was uh in a bank mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay thank you so much yeah so basically there are scenarios right hay escenarios y we can find many ahí y de hecho i wanted to tell you que en ese mismo link aparecen otros otros accesos a, a contenido bien interesante y no se aleja nada de la realidad lo que ustedes ven ahí así son prácticamente la, si quienes han ya trabajado o tienen conocimiento de customer service y sabrán que mucho de lo que aparece ahí es lo que se hace en la vida real ok así que you will find scenarios como dice Idalia that you will um, you know get familiar with and that will help you a lot Hoy sí, vamos a regresar al, al tema. We've been talking about uh, past and today we have this information right here. I think you guys can see my screen, right? Let's see. Uh, what is the, uh, let me see. What is this uh, today's class um, objective or objective here? Can I, can I have your participation, Narciso? Can you read this part, the one I'm just um, pointing at? I will be able to. As a customer, mm -hmm. about a problem they have to provide a solution. Nice. Thank you so much. Yep. So not only what I asked for problems, but also provide solutions, okay? So I ask for the problem. I don't only say, uh, I don't only listen to the problem, but I also offer a solution. That is the point. Now let's do something guys on the chat. Let's brainstorm um, about further questions. You ask customers to get more information about what a problem they have. This is a good exercise. Look at this one. Let brainstorm further questions you ask customers to get information about a problem they have. En otras palabras, hay, una, hay un punto que me gusta bastante en esto, que es la parte de, lo voy a escribir aquí en, 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 para que lo vean, se llama gathering information. Ok. Let's see. What are those questions? ¿Qué, ¿Cuáles son esas preguntas que formulan para obtener más, para obtener la información, to gather the information. A ver, imaginémonos un problema general. ¿Qué tendrían que contener esas preguntas? Guys, quiero escuchar ideas. ¿Qué tendría que contener esa pregunta para que me ayude o facilite la recopilación de la información? How can I help? <laughs> Okay. Uh, what is the problem with what is the problem about the product of your purchase? Vaya, le vamos a hacer un ejercicio in, con in Daniel. Daniel, usted me va a ayudar ahorita. Vamos <laughs> a hacer el ejercicio ahorita. Okay. Vaya, uh, dígame, dígame, okay. Voy, a, voy a pensar en un problema ahorita. Okay. Y hágame la pregunta. Vaya, hagamos la introducción y, y quiero llegar a un punto. Um, que es el paso que les acabo de mencionar. Eh, no sé, quiero ver. Uh, sí, ya lo tengo. Dígame, how can I help? Uh, good morning. Thank you for calling to the customer service. My name is Daniel. How can I help you? Hi, Daniel. Yeah, I'm really frustrated. I can't make calls. Uh, Make calls uh, while your cell phone or your uh, phone line? Okay, it's my cell phone, Daniel. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, what is the uh, what is the company of your using? Claro. Okay, claro. Uh, can you say me the model of the phone, please? Okay. It's a uh, Samsung. Okay, uh, this is the brand, uh, the model? Uh, A10. A10, okay, perfect. Uh, 
what is your problem? Don't 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 have internet. Don't have don't have a signal. Yeah, I can't make calls. I don't know if I don't. Voy a detenerme ahí, Daniel, porque lo va haciendo muy bien y no quiero perder la idea. Ustedes ya se dieron cuenta de lo que Daniel está haciendo, ¿verdad? Ya se dieron cuenta de lo que está haciendo Daniel. Y a eso queremos llegar, ¿ok? Así que uh, I'm, I really congratulate you. Y dale a Bono una pregunta ahí en el chat también. Daniel involuntariamente me está haciendo preguntas. ¿Qué clase de preguntas está haciendo Daniel? ¿Son cerradas las preguntas las que está haciendo Daniel? ¿O qué preguntas? Abiertas. Exacto. Exactamente. Y él me decía, what is your motto? What is your, uh, ¿qué más me preguntó? Uh, oh, what company do you have? No sé. Entonces, se fijan, esas preguntas que Daniel acaba de formular son preguntas que van enfocadas a recopilar información. Y esa se llama information questions. Este día vamos a hablar de ese tipo de, de, de preguntas. Y Dalia mandaba una al chat que decía, how long have you had the inconvenience? Y es una pregunta más ahí. ¿sí? Si quisiéramos usar, okay. quisiéramos usar where, porque también lo podemos usar, ¿verdad? Where, acuérdense los WH words. ¿Qué preguntas haríamos con where? Where, where? where is your location? Where is your location? <risa> Está bien. Otra con where que se les ocurra. When both your cell phone. Where? where? Oh. Oh. Uh, where did you buy? Compré, compró. Ajá, el, solo usamos el did. Where did you buy? Where did you buy your cell phone? Ajá. Yes. Ahí lo veo que lo mandó Idalia. Where did you buy your cell phone? Okay, good. I like it. Uh, what else? With where? Otra con where? ¿Cómo preguntarían dónde uh, le sucede ese problema regularmente? ¿Dentro o fuera de su casa? Por a ver si es la conexión. How would you say that? Where do you have the issue? Mm -hmm. In your house or out of your house? Yes, Daniel. Yes, okay. I like it. Yeah, you transmit the idea. Good. Pensemos en los otros, en los otros WH words. Pensemos qué podríamos utilizar. Tenemos how long. What about when? What about when? How can we use when in this scenario? ¿Cómo podrían preguntar cuándo comenzó ese problema? ¿Cuándo le comenzó ese problema? A ver, cuénteme cuándo le comenzó. When do you start the problem? Hmm, very, very, very close, Marlene. Something is missing there. Exactly. Ahí tenemos, ahí tenemos que hacer una pequeña modificación, Idalia. When did, después del did necesitamos el subject. When did you mm, mm. Something is the missing. Start. When did it the problem start. start? Very good. When did the problem start? When did the problem start? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Así, porque no podemos, no podemos decir when did start the problem? Because after did, we need the subject. When did the problem start? Okay, let's make that modification. Y los demás, ¿por qué se han quedado callados? Pregunten. Quiero que pregunten. Sí, sé que están escuchando, pero también quiero que aporten. Eh, me gustaría, vamos a hacer unas pruebas con este tipo de ejercicio. Formular preguntas de un escenario. ¿okay? ¿Cuándo comenzó? ¿Por qué comenzó? ¿Desde cuándo? ¿Cuánto tiempo lo ha tenido? Eh, bla, bla, bla. Dos tipos de questions. Okay? Um, so, let's see. 
Ah, si Mara mandó Wendy, that probably starts. También se podría hacer. Ok, uh, let's do something. Let's read right now uh, something we have here. Let, let me see. Uh, we have uh, this following. This is an email. Ok, an email that is going to Peter at uh, uh, jmail.com. Ok, so subject, this is complain about a trip. Hmm. Okay, uh, from hazardar uh, at jmail.com. La verdad, nunca había escuchado ese dominio, jmail. Suena weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's not gmail, it's jmail. Okay, look at this problem. Lo voy a leer un par de veces y voy a pedir por lo menos a dos o tres que me lo lean. Quiero escuchar su pronunciación en eso. La voy a leer una vez yo, okay? Pay attention. O quieren leerlo ustedes. Quiero ver a alguien que levante la mano. Who wants to read it? Once you're ready, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand. Oh, all right. Go ahead, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, last week, I had a chance to travel with your company to the country. But to come with you, that's a bad experience because the boss that you assigned me and didn't have to see. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Nice, thank you so much. Uh, great pronunciation, okay? No corrections to be made. Let's listen to Marlene. Marlene, go ahead, please. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in the end exist. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering, considering not traveling with you again because of their inconvenience had. Okay, that is really good, Marlene. Thank you so much for the for the pronunciation and all that. I really, really like it. Okay. Uh, I just want to make one quick observation with this verb, el verbo asignar. Okay. Assigned. Assigned. No, it's assigned. Assigned. Okay. It's assigned. All right. And the rest was okay. Alguien más quisiera tratar, please. Guys, come on, come on, go ahead, please read. Quiero que lean, please. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Thank you so much. Adelante, go ahead. Last week, I have the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest, you eat. It was a bad experience because the bad that you asked as in me indeed have a sea. It was a long trip and the bus was very long. I am considering, considering not travel traveling with you a, a because of the inconvenience I have. Okay, hey, Samara, really good. I like your reading. Super bien. Little details, in the reality, little details. Lo demás solo salió bien. El verbo asignar, assigned, assigned, assigned. The bus you, that you assigned me in didn't have AC. The bus you, you assigned me in didn't have AC. Y el, pues ese fue el único. Luego, considering, considering. Okay, good. I give you a like <laughs> virtually. Okay, good. Anybody else? Alguien más que le gustaría leer, please? This. All right. Thank you so much. Last week. 
I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned assign me in did have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you because of the inconvenience I have. Thank you so much. I like it. Me gusta que estén participando. That's the, that's the attitude, okay? Thank you so much, okay? Appreciate it. Little observations, little, 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 but very little observation, okay? Honest, honest. And then assigned, repeat, assigned. Assigned, viene de assignments, como las asignaciones, assigned, assigned. Y luego inconvenience. Inconvenience. I'm sorry that I only see this this part. I don't see the positive of what you're reading, pero solo quiero hacer esas mini observaciones, okay? Honest, assigned, inconvenience, okay? That's it. We have it really nice, okay? Uh, now, now, hay alguien más que le gustaría leer, please? One more, the last one. Who wants to do it? Me, teacher. Thank you. Vamos, escuché dos voces. Vamos a escuchar a las dos. Go ahead. Eh, okay. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest, you eat. What about experience? Because the boss that you as a science, me in the in this didn't have AC. It's what I don't try. And the bus was very long. Uh, I am considering not traveling with to aid because of the inconvenience I have. Okay, good. Thank you so much. That's, that's the attitude. I like it. Thank you so much for your reading, okay? Um, you read correctly, Sally, you're being assigned. Okay, I give you a like for that. Uh, let's see, para decir viaje, decimos trip, 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 trip. I, I escuché que dijo tribe, es trip, 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 trip. Trip es también el verbo, es el verbo trompezarse también, trip. Así que cuando vean que alguien se va, sí, sí. cuando vean que alguien se trompieza, díganle, have a nice trip. Got it? <laughs> Okay, uh, luego okay. <laughs> con, considering, <laughs> sí. considering, considering inconvenience. Bueno, I, that's what it is. Uh, I really like your reading, guys. Thank you so much. Me gustaría escucharles a todos, honestly, but we don't have much time. Debo tener había alguien más que iba a leer, ¿verdad? Hmm. Who was that person? Me, teacher. Okay, Norma, go ahead. Okay. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me and didn't have AC. It was a long trip. And the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Nice. Thank you so much, Norma, for reading. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Great pronunciation. Yeah, okay, good. Lovely. So let's move on. Thank you so much, uh, guys, for your participation. Let's go ahead and answer these questions here, okay? Um, we have some questions below. Three questions. Where did the passenger go? Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? And give it the give the example. And what did the passenger? I, I think why did the passenger? Uh, why did the passenger send the email? Okay. So I give you five minutes. Answer your questions. Okay. Based on the on the reading. Go ahead, please. Right.
If you finish faster, please let me know. If you finish faster, try to have your answers clear, like add details, explain if you can. That would be great. I finished the chair. Okay, Daniel, thank you so much. Uh, let's take uh, one or two more minutes, guys, so everybody has the answers. Rafa, did you finish? No yet. I see so, Jason. No, yet. Okay, 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 no problem. Let's take one more minute, please, and have your answers ready. Chair, I turn off my I turn off my camera because I have issues with my internet. No problem, no I am problem. In my home. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. I, actually, I sometimes do that because uh, you guys get frozen on my screen. I, I see that you're not moving and I say, is this my connectivity or something is, is wrong? I understand that. And thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, no problem. Somebody said that finished. Okay, uh, so 
Did everybody finish, guys? Uh, please confirm if you finished. Si no, le esperamos, no se preocupe. But please, uh, please say if you finished. Cristina, Rubén, finished. Marvin, Ray, finished. Shamara, finished. Okay. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. See people saying they're finished. Okay, great, un momento. Okay, Elsie, no hay problema. Le esperamos un minuto más. Uno, un minuto o uno, dos minutos más. O nos avisa cuando termine. No problem. Thank you so much, Norma, for confirming that you finished. Thank you. Right, thank you so much for confirming, Elsie. I'm glad to see that, okay? Um, so did everybody finish now? Okay, so we are going to share this answer with a partner and that's what it says right here. And I want you to ask the question to your partner and then answer. Right after that, I want you to switch roles and the person who asked now will uh, respond so you switch roles okay that's what you're gonna do but um, I think I'm gonna check the attendance first so let's see I'm gonna do that right now before we start asking and, and interchanging questions and answers okay so let's see one second please let me go ahead and check the um, attendance so number one on the list here is Narciso, Mr. Cardona. Hello. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Daniel Luna. Present, yeah. teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Present, teacher. Thank you, uh, Gabriela. Harrison. Present. Thank you. I was like, I don't know, something went wrong with, with my connectivity. Okay, Jose Miguel. Jose? No. Uh, Jose Ruben. Ruben? Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Thank you Ruben. Uh, JC. Here, teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Um, teacher. Maria, Maria Idalia. Teacher. Oh, that's Jose Miguel, right? Yes, yes. Me sacó no. la, aplica la, la aplicación. No problem, no problem. Okay, did I say, no problem. I updated it already. So, Maria Idalia, um, Linda, Maria Julia. Here I am. Thank you, Maria Julia. No, not connected. Marlene Nicole. Mar Present. Marvin, thank you. Marvin? Present. Thank you so much, Marvin. Norma Carolina? Present, teacher. Thank you, Norma. Uh, Rafael Ernesto? Hernandez Santuario? I'm here, teacher. Good, thank you. I'm here. Great. Raquel Judith? Present, teacher. Ray is here. Ray? No tiene audio, pero está escuchando la clase. 
Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Ray is in the state, he said, right? He's in the states. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ray. You know, will you share with us your experience there? Have you talked to an American there? No, well, no, maybe no, later on when he fixes his. No tiene audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No tiene yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I don't know why am I asking. <laughs> yeah, you just told me. Okay, <laughs> Simara. Present. Thank you so much. And the last one, Judy. Do we, is Present. Judy here? Oh, Judy is here. Good. Uh, okay, so let's share the questions, guys. The one you just answered, share them with a partner, okay? I think I'm going to create uh, groups, three people, so you can listen to more opinions about uh, your classmates' answers. And please uh, share, participate. Don't keep your answer. No, no, no se guarden su, sus respuestas. Uh, go ahead and share them with somebody. All right, here we go. Practice asking and answering questions. Here we go. Hello, Don Narcito. Hello. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Ah, good It was a long trip and very close. 
Okay. The passenger send the email. You lose a complaint about a trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the first one. Mm -hmm. Correct, uh -huh. mm -hmm. correct. Get through the sentence. The missing. Mm -hmm. La estructura de la oración. Las respuestas son diferentes. Ah, pero sí hablan sobre lo mismo y lo que. Sí. Okay, thank you so much for returning, guys. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. I could listen to some of you and I heard you had very similar answers. Okay, that is great. In order for us to listen to at least a couple of your answers, I will need some volunteers to share. Let's do it this way. Just go ahead and say number one and give the answer. Number two and give the answer and so on. So who would like to share? Who would like to share um, the answers from your group? Like uh, maybe you have the same and then you wanna say, uh, well, we had the same answers. So these are the ones for our group. So who wants to do it? One volunteer, please. We are 17, estamos 17, so that's a good number. So tell me, who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Christina, thank you so much, Christina. I like it, go ahead. The group is similar answer uh, with her, her son and Elsie. Similar answer. 
And the question one is where did the passenger go travel to another country? Two, why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Example, the bus that you assigned me in I in didn't have a seat. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. The three is what did the passenger send that email? Complained about a trip. Yeah, basically it was to complain about a trip, right? Yes. Okay, great answers. Actually, that summarizes everything, right? What you said. Awesome. Uh, the very assigned. Remember, assigned, assigned. Okay, so let's see. Is there anybody else who would like to participate? Maybe you have the same answers, but with your own, you know, words. So anybody else who would like to share? Alguien más que le gustaría compartir? Ruben, thank you, Ruben. I saw your hands. De que levantó la mano. Okay, uh, number one, where did the passenger go? He went to another country. Number two, we did the passenger consider it a experience. Uh, didn't, didn't have a seat. And the bus was very slow. Uh, number three, what did the passenger send the, that email? Uh, he sent a complaint about a trip. Okay. Okay. Yes, he sent a complaint because we said that we changed into why, right? Because he had a really, you know, bad service, right? So bad service in the trip. Okay, good. So thank you so much, guys. Um, thank you for your answers. We are going to continue. And I want you to please open your, I mean, move on to the next page. And we have some, um, let's see, some structures right here. Let's see. And well, this is today's like, um, let's say essential structures or the, the more, the most important structures. How to formulate questions with um, WH words, basically, okay? So we have what, where, when, how, those are the ones we have here. However, we can use the other ones that are missing. We can use which, we can use when, we can use why, which are missing here, okay? So first one is, what did you buy? This is one type of question. What did you buy? Uh -huh. We can say, so what did you buy yesterday? What did you buy? What did Ruben buy yesterday? What did Harrison buy last week? What did Christina buy last week, okay? So this is the structure and we have, it's not like, it's a short tensor, but they're not that short. Actually, this, these are long or, or full answers. I bought a vacation package. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about these information questions, but I need volunteers to read the questions and I, I need volunteers to read the answers. I want to say this is number one and this is number two. So volunteers to read number one, all these questions, please. If you haven't participated, please raise your hands. You're not participado, por favor, levante su mano y puse participe. Please. Well, only for reading, solo para leer. Marlene, tenemos Marlene, okay? And, okay, go ahead, Marlene. Elsie. Oh, okay. Uh, Elsie, go ahead. Elsie. Information question. Why? Where did he fly to? When did we pay for the service? How did they find out of the promotion? Nice, thank you so much. About Good. a about a vacation package, he flew to another country. We paid for the service last month. They found out about in it on internet. 
They found, found out. Okay, good. Thank you so much, uh, girls, for reading. Exactly. I want to highlight something. I want to point out something here. As you can see here, by present, but for the answer, we use but because we have this is the affirmative by boat fly flew okay pay paid find out found out okay so we ask with the base form but because we have did and we have said y hemos dicho que we use did el verbo va in base form y ya en la forma de respuesta el verbo en past. That's it. Si queremos dar una respuesta en negativa, entonces usamos el auxiliar. Por ejemplo, what did you buy last week, Marlene? What did you buy last week? Marlene, what did you buy last week? En negativa. No, solo respuesta. Pues, trate de darme... Vamos a seguir este ejemplo. Um, hágame una pregunta, Marlene. Any, anything in the past. Trataré de dar dos respuestas. Mm -hmm. What do you eat uh, yesterday? I ate tamales. <laughs> but I didn't eat pizza. You see what I mean? Okay. So basically I'm saying I ate this but I didn't eat this. So I can, I can, hold on. <laughs> Since my dog is barking. <laughs> this, this guy is, you know, crazy. Okay, so um, what? So think about this structure, because if you want to add up a little bit more, you can say uh, affirmative and then negative, okay? You, because you can still say that. So you use the verb in the past form, but then if you want to use a negative, we use didn't and then the verb in the, in the base form, okay? So why don't we practice this before we create the questions down below? We can, we can ask questions to each other. Maybe let me ask um, somebody and try to give me your answers. Let's use other verbs. I don't know who I can ask. Who can ask? Let's see, Ruben. I want to ask you directly. Ruben, um, what did you do yesterday morning? Give me two answers, positive and negative. What did you do yesterday uh, morning? Work. <laughs> I work today. All right, listen to my question. What did you do yesterday morning? What did you do yesterday morning? Okay, ayer a la mañana. Mm -hmm, exactly, you understand the question. So answer, please. Give me the two answers. Todos vayan pensando en, en what do you do, okay? Positive and negative. About yesterday. Ya me van a dar sus, dar sus ideas. About yesterday. Uh -huh, Ruben, le vamos a dar un minutito a que piense. So what do you do yesterday morning? Preguntarle a alguien más. Let's see. Narciso. What? Ok, go ahead. ¿Alguien más, quiere responder? ¿Alguien más quiere responder la pregunta? Yes, in meetings. Uh -huh. Yesterday in the morning. Ok, you had meetings. And what about the negative? Uh, I was on the beach. <laughs> Uh, ok, I like that one. Me gusta la respuesta, pero este, tengo que decirle, está bien, porque se entiende, me está, me está respondiendo con el verbo to be. Este, se puede, logically it's possible, pero lo que más espera con la pregunta es que hable de acciones con, en pasado. For, for example, uh, I, I had meetings, I, but, had. I had, but I didn't go to the beach, for example. So if you, if you use that okay. structure, it'll be great. So let's think about uh, negatives, but simple past. And affirmative, simple past. Let's see, uh, think about other, other uh, possible answers. Let's, let me ask Rafa. Uh, Rafa, what did you do yesterday morning or afternoon? Uh, 
What did you do yesterday, Mark? I I was doing exercising. How do you think it's um exactamente? I, I did exercises. Yesterday I did uh, exercise. Mm, but then um, Pero la contracción está I, bien. Ahí tengo dudas. I did. Mm -hmm. De ahí tengo la duda. Mm -hmm. Vaya, este, lo que sucede es que el verbo puede ser, puede ser I did exercise y puede decir, si quiere usar la misma acción, I didn't do exercise. Usamos el do exercise porque le ponemos el didn't. Pero si quiere decir de una yeah. vez, si quiere usar el verbo exercise, solo puede también, por ejemplo, I exercised, I exercised, I didn't exercise. Porque exercise también se puede usar como verbo o como sustantivo. Si yo digo I did exercise, estoy diciendo yo hice ejercicio. Pero si yo digo I exercise, yo me ejercité. Physically. Ok, o sea ah, que okay. podemos usar el did exercise o podemos usar okay. el exercise nada más. Si lo usas okay. con do exercise, entonces es did exercise y luego decimos el negativo, decimos I didn't do exercise. Por eso creo que lo sentía confuso, pero se puede de las dos maneras. Ok. okay. Jace, okay. yes, Rafa, yes. Thank you. Thank you for asking. JC, what about you? What did you do yesterday? I did cut the hair. Mm. Um, mm, what teacher? <laughs> No, porque yo estoy, estoy pensando en su respuesta. ¿Qué quiso decir con su respuesta? ¿Qué quiso decir con su respuesta? I, I cut, cut, here. Mm. I can, I, tendría que ser, I had my, my hair cut. I, I had, did, I did. Mm. I did. ¿Qué quiere decir, JC? What do you... I me corté el pelo. Uh -huh. Entonces, <risa> <Porque> es... la <risa> vaya, lo que sucede es que, lo que sucede es que estaba quizás escuchando música ahí romántica, no, y así lo que sucede es que el did no lo usamos para la afirmativa, acuérdese, a menos que sea para énfasis. Si quiere decir. Ah, okay. uh, I, I could hear. I I could. Así sería, ¿verdad? Porque I, I cut, I, ajá. cut hear. Vaya, para decir me corté el pelo. Ajá. Ay, tengo entendido que this verb is present past um, pasado no sé qué es el mismo. <laughs> Correct, exactamente, exactamente. <laughs> exactamente. En solo una, un, entonces, ¿cómo diríamos no me corté el cabello? I didn't put hair. My hair. Vaya, le voy a nada más hacer un, un comentario porque eso es bien, bien, bien uh -huh. típico para que todos aprendamos de eso. Este, en primer lugar, para decir me corté el cabello, la expresión correcta es I had, porque es pasado, I had my hair cut. Porque si digo I cut my hair, es como que yo solito me lo estuve cortando. Bien con la máquina. Ah, en serio. I okay. cut my hair. <laughs> Uh, bueno, entonces si das el mismo, yeah, you did it, okay, then, then, then I'm sorry for my misunderstanding. Yes, so, mire la expresión, I'm sorry for my misunderstanding. Lo siento por mi malentendido, misunderstanding, mis, let me understand. Pero, pero, pero yo, pero yo lo, pero yo no lo hice así como que para que me entendieran que, que yo con la máquina, o sea, es lo que se me ocurrió, pero, okay. o sea, no sabía que también así. Ok, yeah, got it, got it, thank you, got it. Entonces, uh, remember this structure, guys, remember this, that we need to say, ajá. Um, I can say, I was in the workshop, but I didn't go to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was at the worst, but I didn't go to work. Yes, you can say that. Correct. Oh. You can say that. That's perfectly fine. Clear. Clear person. 
Okay, uh, anybody else who would like to share about what you did yesterday? Alguien, what you did and what you didn't do? What did you do, huh? Don't wanna say anything. Okay, let's finish this activity then. Uh, we have five here, five um, questions. Complete the email using preposition of time. Uh, compare, well, this is not an email, basically. We're gonna just go ahead and, and uh, complete, maybe let's, we can think or simulate or pretend that this is an email. But then uh, if you can create questions, general, general questions, do it. What I care is that the questions are well formulated, que estén bien hechas, that's what I care. Uh, but if you want to use general ideas, do it. Pero si pueden seguir la secuencia de email, let's do it. What did you, how did you, why did you, where did you, and who did you? Complete uh, the ideas and think about the answers. Podemos pueden hacer preguntas generales también, okay? Tomemos un tiempo y luego la vamos a compartir. Go, please. Si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor, no duden en hacerla, ¿ok? Uh, si ya terminó, también digan ¿no? para ir más o menos. Elsie, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? No, no. no estoy haciendo las All right. eh, preguntas y respuestas. Ok, ok, good.
el, no sé cómo se Which one? Which one, Marlene? ¿Cuál de todas? Oh, excuse me. I, I, I don't finish. Oh, you haven't finished. Es que escuché que dijo, no sé cómo no. hacer. Ah, ok, ok. <laughs> uh, is is um, about the email? Or... No, no necessarily. No. Yo le dije que podría ser general. Es que lo ideal, ah, okay. lo ideal, guys, es que haya una secuencia. A ver, si usted piensa en un, en un issue, lo haría, lo haría, creo, más fácil. Y como el, el, el uh -huh. ejercicio que hicimos con, con Daniel, así un poco improvisado, uh, solo digamos problemas de tal cosa. Uh, what did you, no sé qué, uh, how, o sea, todo, todo siempre en la misma línea, del mismo escenario, pero si no, hagan la general. La verdad, general puede ser. Ok. Okay, so when you finish, guys, please let me know if you finished. Whenever you finish, please let me know. Okay, thank you so much, Idalia, for finishing and reporting. Thank you so much. Who else finished, guys?
If you need some help, please let me know. Si alguien necesita ayuda para crear las preguntas, let me know. Judith, are you okay? Yes, Judy. Xiomara. Marvin, need, need some help? Okay, tomémonos dos minutos más y luego vamos, lo que tengamos vamos a compartir. Okay, two more minutes, please. Tienen preguntas, háganlas, please. Don't hesitate to ask. Okay, um, I think it's, it's okay, guys. I don't know if you have finished. Vamos a ir haciendo preguntas y le vamos a ir haciendo. Um, I want everybody to participate, okay? Uh, así que vamos a iniciar con la primera, con what did you? Vamos a ver, alguien de ustedes o alguien de ustedes hizo una secuencia de, de, de un solo problema o hicieron de diferente. Si alguien hizo de una sola, de un solo escenario, me gustaría que comparta todas. Si hicieron de generales, de, de what did de una, and how did de otra clase, vamos a ir compartiendo en una en una. Pero si alguien las hizo de un solo escenario, please, I would like to hear, me gustaría escucharlas, um, to see the sequence, para ver la secuencia that it has, que tiene. Ok, así que ¿quién de todos le gustaría compartir? Guys? De lo que ya tiene hecho. Si le falta alguna, no hay problema. Ya vamos a ayudarle a crear. Who wants to share? Y dale a la que usted creó, las hizo uh, separated or did you use one single scenario? Uh, single scenario. Okay. Scenario. Uh, why don't you share, please? Excuse me, could you repeat, mm -hmm. please? Why, why don't you share? Uh, no, ¿Por qué no les comparte? Ah, ok, ok. Um, first question was, um, what did you complain about? Um, I complain about the, because the, the, the bus didn't have a AC and the bus was very slow and Ahí le agregué un poquito. How much did you spend in the trip? I spent uh, $60 per person. Why did you send an email to the company? Uh, I sent the email to complain about the bad, bad service. Uh -huh. Where did you travel last week? I traveled to Honduras. Who did you send the email to? Um, is Hasser sent the the mail to Peter? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I see, I see. So you use one scenario about um, traveling right to another country. So he let go el how much and not how did 
Okay. Yes, makes sense. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that sharing. Okay, good one. Uh, anybody else could think of the same scenario? Guys, le gustaría compartir? Like Dalia? Anybody, please? Crearon preguntas generales, like with no. Um... Entonces comencemos con la primera. What did you? Un complemento para esta idea. What did you? Xiomara, what do you have for the first one? What did you? What did you eat for lunch? What do you eat for lunch? Okay. And what's the answer? I like it. Yeah, I like it. Eso es lo que me interesa, que la estructura esté bien, ¿ok? Y después pensamos en las ideas y las unimos de escenarios. Ahorita, I want to make sure the structure is okay. And that one is okay. What do you eat for lunch? What's the answer? What's the answer, Simara? Um, I eat, I eat uh, lunch soup. soup. Okay. What do you eat for lunch? Uh, deme la respuesta para que veamos un detallito ahí que estoy escuchando. What do you say? ¿Qué dijo? I, I eat, I eat uh -huh. lunch uh, soup. I eat um, soup for lunch, let's say this way. Quiero... Uh, soup, soup for What is incorrect? It is the Xiomara. Aquí, ¿qué observa? ¿Cómo traducimos esta? Tra tratemos de traducir la, la pregunta. What do you eat for lunch? ¿Qué sería? Xiomara, ¿cómo traduciríamos? What did you eat for lunch? ¿Qué, qué comiste en el almuerzo? ¿Qué comiste en el almuerzo? Okay. Y la respuesta, ¿cómo la tenemos? ¿Cómo la diría usted? Mire, I eat soup for lunch. Um, yo comí sopa en el almuerzo. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Qué significa eat? El comer. Pastor, el ah, eh, eat. Eh, oh. Oh. Entonces tendría que decir yo comí Ajá. sopa en el almuerzo. Necesitamos, ¿qué, ¿Qué necesitamos aquí para hacer ese verbo? Que no, que no diga eat, que diga el pasado. Porque eat. si te la... ¿Cómo lo decimos? Perdón. Sorry. Eating. Hmm. Eight. Exactamente. Hay que, necesitamos hacer un repaso de los verbos. Decimos, el presente es eat, el pasado es eight. eat. Exacto. Y lo otro, pues el pasado participa. Ahorita no, 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 no vamos a hablar de eso. Pero to answer this question, okay. necesitamos el verbo en, Idalia. We need it in what? We need it in past tense. Eso sí, past tense. Acuérdense de esto, lo neces es necesario, el past tense, para responder a la pregunta. Porque es in the past. What did you? Okay. I ate soup for lunch. Okay. okay. And de la misma, con la misma okay. estructura, guys. Alguien más? Another example, please. Another example. Elsie, compártanos su ejemplo, por favor. Okay, solo que la última no la hice y no estoy viendo que tenía que so, Solo la primera. I do, yes. Mm -hmm. Only the first one, please. Uh, what did you today at work? Uh, pues esta es, I met a lot of calls at work today. Okay. What did you do, you say, right? What did you do? ¿Cómo fue la pregunta, Elsie? What did you do, así? What did you do? Uh -huh. Play at work? Uh, what did you do? I made, I uh, made, I made a lot calls at work today. Okay. Muy bien. La verdad que está bien. I made a lot of calls at work today. Good. Exactly. Muy bien. La verdad que está bien la redacción. Because you said, what do you do at work today? I made a lot of calls at work today. 
Exactly. So what we care here is the verb in the past. Y aquí lo tenemos muy bien. Tenemos made. Okay. And that's exactly what we want to say. Made. Because it's in the past. I made, usted las estaba haciendo. You made. I made a lot of calls at work today. Si las recibió, pues era I received. Or I assisted. I, um, what? I took. Okay. Or I picked up many calls. Muy bien. I like it. Alguien más quiere compartir su ejemplo del, del what? What, guys? Ya tenemos dos. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Uh -huh. What is it, please? Uh, hice una sola secuencia. Okay. Compártanos, exacto. Go ahead. Please. A cinco. Uh -huh. okay. With my family, how do you do the reservation? I make the reservation be called in a hotel. What did you travel in this moment? I really planet with my family. Where did you travel with your family? I travel let you to Spain. How did you trip to? Out the trip was great. I meet many places. Fíjese mm -hmm. que por momentos su, su no sé si fue mi conexión, pero se ahí su voz se, había un poco de interference, había un poco de interferencia. Este no, no logré seguir exactamente la, la, el escenario, pero al final escuché que digo I meet. Y el, ¿cómo sería el, el, el pasado de meet? Porque tendría que ser en pasado. I, what's the past of the verb meet? Lo necesita, el verbo lo necesitamos siempre en pasado, porque la question is in the past. What is it? Meet, present, and then what's the past? I meet many places. Mm. Meet is the present, pero el pasado, ¿cuál es el pasado de meet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes, met. met. Entonces, asegurémonos de decir los, los pasados en las respuestas, ¿ok? Met. ¿Cuál fue el verbo que utilizó la número cuatro? Where did you? Where did you? ¿Qué verbo utilizó ahí? Where did you? Uh, where did you travel? What do you try? What's the answer? With but, your family. Uh, what, was, what was the answer? I traveled. Traveled. Okay, muy bien. Traveled. 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 Sí, okay, muy bien. Bueno. bueno. Okay. En, siempre y cuando tengamos las, las respuestas y estén en, en past, en las afirmativas, everything's going to be okay. Y la estructura pues siempre se sigue. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Okay. Alguien más si quiera compartir, guys? ¿Alguien más? O si no, sigamos con la otra. Vamos a ir un poquito rapidito porque el tiempo se nos va terminando. How did you? Vamos a ver. Para ir avanzando rápido, mándenme los how did you al chat. Todos en ese momento digitando su pregunta de how did you. A ver cómo la estructuraron. One minute, un minuto. Go. Type, please. How did you what? How did you get there? Eso está muy bueno. How do you get there? ¿Cómo llegaste? By car, by plane, by walking, by food or on food. How do you get there? How did you get there? Okay. How did you go to work? Okay. How did you go to work? How do you do the, the rest? Exactly. How do you do the reservation? Está bien. How do you achieve? Achieve alguna E after I. How do you achieve the goal? Achieve the goal working hard. Good one. Good answer. How did, how did you, 
How do you get there early? Sería, ¿verdad, Marvin? Me de, hey, es get. How did you order your pizza? Good, Ruben. Nice, okay. Veo un par de ejemplos. Uh, okay, how do you, how did you chicken? Yes, uh, Raquel, ahí falta el verbo. How did you cook the chicken? Quizá. How did you learn English or your language? Está bien. How do you do the homework? Muy bien, la verdad que está bien la estructura. Pasémonos directamente, guys. How do you send the report? Está bien, by email, by mail, by... How do you eat? What, how do you eat for dinner? How did you eat for dinner? Como comiste? Maybe that one not that, that okay. How did you make the calls? Eso está bien. Using your phone, using the company phone, etc. Veamos number three por tiempo. Pasemos al number three. Why did you guys send me your your answer? Why did you? Un minuto más. Pensemos. Why did you? Why did you? Why did you lie to me? <laughs> Why did you lie to me? Why weren't you sincere? Okay. Give me an example with why, please. Why did you? Did you? One minute, one minute, please. Why did you go? Okay. Me caen todas de un solo y ya no cuál leer. Okay. Why, uh, let's see, uh, Marvin mandó primero, why did you call me, uh, why did you call the customer, exactly, why did you come late, uh -huh. ya pasándole la factura, why did you change your password, uh -huh. why did you run very slow, why did you send, y ahí sí el verbo send que es en con D, porque si no lo está poniendo en pasado. Um, luego, why did you take vacation right now? Why did you take vacation right now? Okay, depend. Why did you make the calls with the supervisor? With, es para el, el with está mal escrito, pero la idea está bien, Elsie. Uh, why did you travel at the, in this moment? Hmm. ¿Por qué viajaste en este momento? Como que in this moment no mucho, porque es did is in the past. Hay que modificar eso, a tal vez in that moment, en aquel momento. O en ese, why did you turn off, turn off, night? turn off, creo que, okay, ¿verdad, linda? Why did you turn off the light? Turned off, exactly. Ahí tenemos el ejemplo, I turn off the light because I was sleeping. Muy bien. Vamos a ir terminando, guys. Mándeme de where did you, please. Y luego, who did you. Si tienen las dos de un solo, much better. Y le voy a las observaciones que I find. Y los que no me han dado sus ejemplos, please don't, don't uh, miss this chance to send your answer. Where did you buy that shirt? Me gusta esa. Where did you buy that shirt? No sé, esa. I bought it in blah, blah, blah. I bought it in the, I bought it in there. Blah, blah, blah. Good. Where did you buy that shirt? Esa me gusta. I like it. What else? More examples, please. One more minute. Start typing. Quizás estar en el celular cuesta un poco, ¿verdad? Uh, who? Mandémonos con who, 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 uh, si quiere abrir micrófono, do it, para que no esté digitando, también le escuchamos. Where did you, where did you in the afternoon? Ahí falta el verbo, este, boom, me mandaron un montón, ahora aquí me mandaron un montón. Ok, Marlene, how did you catch a fish, what is fish, fish, maybe. Ah, sí, es un fish, I caught in the fishing pole. Why did you eat last cookie? I ate cookie because I was hungry. Where did you go? I went to uh, watch Japan. Who did you go to visit in Texas? I went to visit my family. Está bien, muy bien. Where did you get uh, the number? Where did you get the number, the supervisor? Mm. Where do you get the supervisor's number? Who did you send the email? Muy bien. Where did you work in your company? Where did you study English? Uh, who did you invite to go with you? Okay, who did you invite to go with you? Me gusta esa, con who. Una más de who, porque el tiempo se nos ha agotado. Please, with who, who. Acordémonos que con who, la preposición with, si la vamos a poner, vamos a dejarla al final. Who did you go out with? Who do you go out with? Hmm. Who did you invite to go with you? Esa está bien. Or, okay, what else?
no veo otro de who solo me ha caído una come on at least one more before we finish who did you ask information to esa está muy buena linda okay a quién le pusiste información who did you ask information to okay good bueno vamos a hacer un stop here I will continue tomorrow with this topic, but I want to check the attendance, okay? And because we only have two minutes left, okay? Number one, Narciso. I'm here. Thank you. Number two, Cristina. Thank you. Number three, Daniel. Present teacher. Number four, Elsie. Thank you. Uh, next one, Gabriela. Herson. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jose Rubén. Present teacher. Okay, JC. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Idalia. Here I am. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Maria Julia is here. Good, thank you. Uh, Marlene yes. Nico. <laughs> Marlene Nico. Yeah, Present. I can okay, thank you, Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael. Rafael. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Raquel. I'm here. Good. Ray. Thank you. Uh, Ray is here. Raquel is here. Good. Uh, Xiomara. Presentation. And the last but not the least, Judy. Judy. Present. Okay. Present. So I think, thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, guys, for your time. Uh, well, we, we are going to finish here today and we are going to continue tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Right. Bye, good night. Bye, guys. Take Bye. care. Good night. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Have a nice night. Bye, guys. Have a nice night to everyone.